Food is power. Our food system is a huge interconnected web stretching across the globe. It links fields to factories, human animals to non-human animals, workers to corporations. When we choose what to have for dinner, we're not just choosing what to eat. We're also choosing whether or not to support the industries that put the food on our plates. That's a lot of responsibility, but it's a lot of power too. For those of us who are able to make informed, ethical food choices, we can make a real difference in the lives of humans, non-human animals, and the earth. At Food Empowerment Project, or FEP, we believe that our food choices can change the world, and we want to show you how. The most incredible thing our food choices can do is reduce the amount of suffering in the world. How? Well, each year, tens of billions of non-human animals are exploited in our food production systems. Each one of them is an individual who is aware of their own existence, feels pleasure and pain, and wants to be safe and free. They are confined, separated from their families, mutilated, and killed. Our food choices can reduce the amount of suffering of non-human animals when cutting out meat, dairy, and other animal products. FEP promotes ethical veganism, encouraging people not to contribute to the exploitation and suffering of animals, both human and non-human. Our website is full of information to help people understand the power of their food choices and learn how these choices can impact non-human animals from chickens and rabbits to fishes and other sea creatures. And it also includes some recipes and meal ideas. To support this further, Food Empowerment Project has created two vegan websites, one featuring delicious Mexican food in English and Spanish, and one with amazing Filipinx recipes in English and Tagalog to help people go and stay vegan. So, ethical veganism is important, but not everybody can get the kind of food they need for a healthy plant-based diet. If we want people to eat more fruits and vegetables, we need to make sure that all people have access to fresh, affordable produce. In black and brown communities and in low-income neighborhoods, access to fresh fruit and vegetables is often limited or non-existent. It is vital that we acknowledge the ways that racism, and economic disadvantage prevent marginalized communities from being able to access healthier food. When invited, FEP makes an assessment on the availability of healthy foods and begins to work with local communities, policymakers, and community organizations. We then convene focus groups to determine the barriers seen and experienced by the community to help create solutions that will benefit the health of individuals over corporations. But we can't stop there. We want to get fresh produce on more shelves and on more plates. And those fruits and vegetables have to come from somewhere. We want people to think about the ways their food choices can reduce the suffering of non-human animals in our food system. But what about the humans in that system? Farm workers are some of the most vulnerable and exploited workers in the United States. They often work long hours in extreme heat, are exposed to agricultural chemicals, and many experience homelessness due to their low wages or wage theft. Also, many are migrant or undocumented workers who are threatened with deportation if they speak up, which leaves them vulnerable to a variety of abuses. In addition, female farm workers experience sexual harassment on a regular basis. We advocate for improvements to farm worker rights at corporate, legislative, and regulatory levels. In 2018, we helped overturn a rule that had forced the families of farm workers to move at least 50 miles away from the migrant camps when picking season was over a regulation that negatively impacted their children's education. This victory meant that their children could now finish their school year without having to move. On a grassroots level, 
FEP organizes a school supply drive for the children of farm workers to help ensure these kids are offered all the opportunities that come with an education, something their parents have sacrificed so much for so that they might have opportunities previous generations may not have had. The fight for farm workers' rights doesn't end at the borders of the United States. We have a responsibility to the people who supply us with our food, even when they're on the other side of the world. Some of the worst human rights abuses in our food system happen in the supply chain for that confection we all love so much, chocolate. The chocolate industry gets much of its key ingredient, cacao, from areas where the worst forms of child labor and slavery are most prevalent. Children as young as seven work long hours using dangerous equipment and in some cases are not allowed to leave the farms they work on and are beaten and sometimes not seen again if they try to flee. They go through all this just to make candy for us to eat halfway around the world. By informing people where their chocolate comes from, we can create transparency to help people eat with their ethics. On our website, Food Empowerment Project has a list of chocolate companies to let consumers know which companies we do and do not recommend based on the country of origin for their cacao. And we even have a free downloadable app to make it easy for those who have a smartphone. Be sure to look out for our mascot, Chavez, to see which chocolates we recommend. Our food choices are powerful. That means people are powerful. And that means you are powerful. Food Empowerment Project is about showing people just how much power their food choices hold. We want everybody to understand how much good their food choices can do, how much suffering we can stop. But we understand that making the world more just and equal is not a simple task. We can't just think about humans or just non-human animals or just the earth. We have to understand the way that these things are interconnected and the complicated systems they create. Together, we can help each other understand the whole picture. Then, we can work toward a better world. Remember, food is power. Use it with compassion.